Embrace the good life at Arkansas's Lake Washita. Hey, it's Mark with Any Way You Travel. If you're looking for a vacation or a weekend getaway spot where you can enjoy the water, nature's beauty, and incredible surroundings, you have got to check out Lake Washita in Arkansas. It's located a few miles northwest of the world famous Hot Springs, Arkansas. By the way, if you'd like to learn a little bit more about Hot Springs and what it has to offer, there are links to a couple of our videos in the description below, so you can check those out after this video. And if you enjoy this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button or scan the QR code. Lake Washita has consistently been rated one of the cleanest lakes in the entire nation. So if you're into swimming, fishing, boating, kayaking, RVing, whatever, you need to check out Lake Washita as a vacation spot. It's nestled in the beautiful Washita National Forest. Lake Washita has some incredibly beautiful scenery. Much of Lake Washita is surrounded by the Washita National Forest. There are camping grounds, but there's also a state park, Washita State Park, and it has all the kinds of facilities, recreational opportunities, swimming, boating, so make sure you check it out. If you'd like to stay a few days, Lake Washita State Park is a great place to park your RV or pitch a tent. It's got modern restroom facilities and beautiful scenery. You can also rent paddle boats, pontoons, or bring your own boat and enjoy Lake Washita's 66,000 acres of water. The options are really endless. Just down the road from the State Parks Information Center is what they call Three Sister Springs. Three separate springs, each with their own unique mineral content, surface at this one location. 100 years ago, there was a thriving resort around these springs as people came to experience what they believed were the healing powers of the spring water. Visitors would drink and bathe in the springs. Anytime a reservoir is built, lives are changed. The Blakely Mountain Dam, which created Lake Washita, was approved for building in the early 1900s. However, due to bureaucratic delays, the dam was not completed until 1954. Under most reservoirs lies a secret. Communities that simply disappeared. So it was with Lake Washita. Communities like White Plains and Little Georgia were swallowed up by the water. But perhaps most well-known is the community of Buckville, Arkansas. Why is it well-known? Because the cemetery survived the deluge that was Lake Washita. And prior to the community, farms and businesses being covered by the reservoir, members of the church moved the building to the other side of the cemetery so it would stay safe from the water. And because of that, Buckville, Arkansas lives on. As you walk through the cemetery at the Buckville Church, you can feel the old community. In a way, it still exists. This was a community that had farms, merchants, a Methodist church, a Baptist church. And the only reason the Buckville Church still exists is because in the early 50s, they moved the church from where Lake Washita would rise to where it wouldn't overtake it. They didn't move the cemetery. It remained above the flood line of Lake Washita. But as you walk through this cemetery, you can still feel the community. If you'd like to learn more about Buckville, we did a video on it and you can find a link in the description below. As we head to the west on Highway 270 along the southern side of Lake Washita, if you keep your eyes open, you'll find a beautiful little gem of a waterfall. It'll be on the right side of the road, and just past it, you'll see an area where you can pull off and park and then walk down to see the falls. But be careful, some of the area is clearly marked as private property.
As we were heading to check out Brady Mountain Overlook, which is part of Brady Mountain Recreational Area, we came across these old abandoned railroad tracks. It was really kind of cool. If you know what train line this belonged to, comment below. If you want to catch a picturesque view of Lake Washita, Brady Mountain Overlook is the place to go. It is absolutely beautiful. And for you out-of-state YouTubers that like to buzz into Arkansas, do a quick video, and then head on out again, let me give you a friendly piece of advice. It is pronounced Washita. This is Lake Washita, not Washita. Brady Mountain Overlook also has a set of steps that will take you down to the shoreline. It just kind of gives you a different view and a different vibe than up on top. But there's one thing to remember. If you go down the stairs, well, you've got to climb back up the stairs. And that can be a bit challenging. They just keep going and going and going. And the rises on some of the steps can get pretty high. So just keep that in mind if you want to head down to the shoreline. Now, once you get back on Highway 270 and head west just a little bit, you'll run into Burl's Barbecue. But I'm telling you, this place is so much more than just barbecue. It's a place where history is lovingly preserved. From an old-fashioned crank phone to where you ask the operator to connect you to the person you were calling to something you don't see anymore and that's a phone booth with a rotary dial phone. Do you remember when you had to step into the phone booth, close the door, put a dime in so you could make a call? Burl's isn't just a place to come get in touch with some Americana of bygone years. It's also a fantastic place to eat lunch. This turkey sandwich is delicious. Mm. You gotta try out Burl's. After you finish eating, check out Burl's grandfather's moonshine still. This thing actually made moonshine back when it was illegal to make it. Before you head outside to explore, ring the bell. It's always fun to ring a bell. Even if you don't have kids with you, you're going to find Burl's collection of Americana absolutely amazing. Lake Washita has all kinds of amazing hiking trails and they welcome dogs as long as they're on a leash. At the beginning of the Caddo Trail, they say that you should wear sturdy shoes. Well, thus far I haven't found the trail very challenging, but that doesn't mean as you get further on it won't be. Along the trail, you'll find fantastic opportunities to get great pictures of beautiful surroundings. As I continued, I came upon some young people who were walking on a road next to the trail. When I asked them what they were doing, they said, well, they were just out walking, having an absolutely great time on a beautiful day. Hey, if you enjoyed this video on gorgeous Lake Washita in Arkansas, hit the subscribe button or scan the QR code. Give it a thumbs up and click the notification bell so you never miss a video. Thanks for watching any way you travel.